and welcome to this week's recon vlog. Um, it is week eight, yeah, week eight of pushing food and body weight up, um, and it's been a really good week um, overall. So when I checked in with Vaughn on Tuesday, um, I kind of had a feeling that my food was going to get put up purely because my weight had kind of like not really moved, and our goal was to be a kilo heavier than I was um, last week, I suppose um by the end of this month so we were basically a kilo behind um and yeah my food got put up again uh just as I was walking to work finishing my post-workout meal thinking ah fuck <laughs> so I was eating my rice cakes and I was just like oh man this is brutal uh but you know no complaints um but but yes, yeah, so I'll take you back. Um, overall, to be fair, it's been a really weird week. Work has been, I've been finishing work earlier than normal, uh, ahead of the kind of summer hub starting tomorrow. So today is Sunday, um, and that's been a bit of a chaos shit show. But you know, it is what it is. I am really looking forward to it, even though it's been a bit stressful to organise. Um, because yeah, organising a summer camp activities for kids during COVID is, uh really really difficult logistically but anyway um that's sort of been going on in the background um but i was able to finish early a couple of days um of the week which meant that i was able to come home uh get some clients set up which has been really exciting i've got a couple of people coming on board uh which is awesome and also do some more reading um so i've started reading brene brown's book rising strong uh, which for anyone who doesn't know, if I've not made it obvious enough, I'm obsessed with the woman. Um, I love just everything she does and says. I just consume, like, come at me. Um, just I just love her take on understanding people and understanding how being vulnerable is so important. And one of my missions going into this year, into 2020, was to learn how to be more vulnerable um, and being less scared to sort of put myself out there um and I still remember it's so weird because I now do these kind of vlogs every week uh and I still kind of cringe at myself a little bit but you know um I'll get used to it hopefully eventually but I still remember the first time I answered questions on Instagram speaking at the camera and I've been putting it off all day and I was sweating I was shaking it was horrendous and that was a massive, I suppose, vulnerability step for me. Um, and doing these things now is, you know, is is part of that process too. So uh, this thought behind all of this, and not just from a personal gain, but I do feel that it's pushed me to, yeah, I suppose to just like put myself out there and look more, look inwards um and try to like go deeper with myself and it's something that I ask my clients to do all the time um and I feel like if I wasn't practicing what I preach um you know everyone would just smell bullshit I wouldn't be able to help people as well as I would like to think that I help people um, but anyway I digress um the week's been good so yeah so my food got put up on Tuesday following my check-in which I'll hopefully be able to insert the clip here um because my computer kept crashing last Sunday due to the editing app that I use and it was just becoming very, very stressful. So I'll insert the clip in here, hopefully. <laughs> If it doesn't work then well whatever <laughs> it is what it is um so yeah so if uh, we got put up and my body weight has increased this week too which has actually been really nice i've actually been feeling so strong and like so like i'm just i just love the way that i look right now um and for anyone who gives a shit i'm kind of about yeah like around about eight kilos above stage weight um and I'm five foot two or 157 centimeters if you're European like me and don't do feet and inches. Um, so I'm quite a small person. Um, and eight kilos show off, you know, I mean, you can tell. Uh, 
but it's so nice not to feel like super bony and like just mega lean all the time. Um, and that takes me to the next kind of main thing that happened this week was that I did a photo shoot yesterday, Saturday with a friend um, at a gym and oh my gosh, oh, I miss being in a gym so much. I was there for obviously photo shoot purposes, um, socially distanced before the fucking Corona police start coming at me. Um, but it was, it was so much fun and I cannot tell you how empowering it is to do a photo shoot when you're not shredded as fuck. Like the first time I did a photo shoot, I couldn't even have dreamt of stepping in front of a camera in like a pair of shorts and a, and a sports bra or getting myself into like photo shoot condition, um, like a lean photo shoot condition, so to speak. Uh, and at that time, time frame I think I was still kind of learning to uh, well I was sort of starting the process into my first off season so learning to be comfortable with uh not just constantly trying to diet because I'd been doing that for so long um and I've said this a couple of times but this is the first summer in pff, I don't even know like maybe 10 years more that I've not been trying to lose weight actively that I've not been preoccupied with my body composition and the way that I look obviously for the last two years I was prepping, so that's contextually different. Um, but yeah, which anyway, it's it's a bit mind blowing and quite upsetting to think about actually the fact that I've always been so obsessed with um, being smaller and smaller and always kind of having that on my mind. So even like as a teenager, if I was going to the beach in the morning with my friends, like I'd skip breakfast because I want I didn't want my stomach to look um, not flat, empty. Um, and I did really struggle with that as a as a teen growing up. But anyway, so so coming back to, to my point about the photo shoot, uh, it was amazing to do a photo shoot uh, feeling strong, uh, looking strong, like all that muscularity um, and just feeling confident. Like it was so awesome to be in front of a camera and like over time have built enough confidence to literally have someone like snapping photos of me and like pure living my best model life. <laughs> not at all but um but no it, it, was, it was so much fun um I really really enjoyed it so massive thank you um to Scott for letting me use the gym for the photo shoot and to my friend Neil for doing the photo shoot with me uh that was fucking awesome um and yeah so it was <laughs> in the build-up to it um obviously I had to like tan and stuff and I'm not someone who puts much effort into things like makeup never mind fucking tanning and shit like the first time I got a tan ever in my life like a, a fake tan was to do my first ever photo shoot in August 2018 and I went and got like the whole spray tan um and that was crazy that was pretty mental um and then I've only ever had show tans done which is of course like next level but then last year when I did my photo shoot kind of in between uh, qualifying in my regional regional show and um, and finals, uh, I I self tanned for the first time, um, and that was weird. Like that was a very very strange experience. I put the mitten on the wrong way round. I don't know what the hell I was doing, but it got done. So anyway, so I was tanning it the other day, obviously in prep for the photo shoot, and I was like, this is so strange because the only time that I've like had the smell of tan on my body. I've been like either prepping for a show or like ripped. Um, and it was, yeah, it was just a weird thing. If you know, you know, um, especially kind of like if you've ever done or had a competition tan done to you, you know that that's like next, <laughs> next level, you know, next step into the shower at the end of show day and you go, what the fuck is the color of the water right now? Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going off on like 200 tangents. Um, but yeah, other than that, I don't think this vlog will be super long because this week's just pretty much been about ticking the boxes, just cracking on with things, learning more, uh, pushing myself obviously with like increasing food, um, you know, still trying to make training as good as it can be at the moment, uh, all things considered. Um, it's been obviously a bit of a bummer with the news about gyms not opening as soon as we perhaps anticipated them to open. Um, but you know, for anyone who is struggling out there, just remember that you've managed so far. Um, if we hadn't been given that kind of spark of hope, you wouldn't even have like probably been as upset by the news. And don't get me wrong, like it's fucked me off plenty, but you know what what can you do at this at this stage? Um, and people seem to still 
be gathering in massive groups, uh, despite technically, you know, social distancing at least being still enforced. I don't know if anyone saw the news and the photos of those beaches that were like so rammed down in England, but. Anyway, you can't control what other people do and you can only control your response to the situation, not necessarily how you feel, but how you respond to those feelings. Um, so if you're feeling like shit, understand that. Give yourself space to feel like shit, but you know, you can't stay in that perpetual status all the time because um, you'd be doing yourself a, dis a disfavor. Like there's so much more other stuff to focus on. Um, but yeah, other than that, I wanted to again highlight that this week. Um, I've been really, really impressed with a lot of the progress that my clients have been uh, showing, especially as always in terms of their mindset. Um, so looking into things like listening into their unhelpful think uh, thinking styles or their unhelpful thoughts, it's probably a better way to put it, um, and also paying more attention to hunger and satiety cues. Um, so I regularly use a hunger scale with my clients um, who perhaps struggle to identify true hunger signals. Um, <clears throat> both from the end of uh, as a tendency to overeat, but also from the opposite end of as a, as a tendency to not eat enough. Um, and oh, it's just been so nice to see that that progress coming through. And you know, I'm just so proud. And I always it it does blow my mind sometimes when I see someone's progress and I go fuck like I can't believe that we've achieved that together. That's so cool. Um, and my hope would always be that what they take away from it is something that they can then apply forever and ever and ever forever and ever and ever um but yeah <laughs> and yeah other than that i think i'm gonna leave this vlog here um i do have major anxiety lingering in the back of my brain thinking fucking hell if my computer crashes 200 times trying to edit this um i'm probably gonna you know smack my head against the wall um so i hope i hope it uploads smoothly i hope you guys get to see this i hope you guys get to um take a leap into my brain um before i close up though we did do a webinar on thursday about kind of how to approach return to gyms and i spoke specifically specifically about goal setting and the importance of goal setting ahead of this time um so i definitely recommend you watch it and listen to it because a lot of the things that we discussed apply also you know to training and nutrition how to approach that after such a long period away from the gym um, but if you want a bit more guidance with goal setting, uh, how to go about that, you can always just reach out to me on Instagram. I'm, you know, I'm super approachable. I'd like to think I'm super approachable. Um, so just drop me a message if you need a bit more help or guidance in terms of goal setting. Um, I've written a couple of articles that are also on our website, um, in and around these topics. Um, and hopefully those can provide you enough, um, a rough idea at least about how to go about setting goals and broadening the scope of what you think you can perhaps achieve in the year. Because um, I know that a lot of us feel like the things that we were planning for have sort of been taken away from us. Uh, but actually, if thought about appropriately with enough time and giving yourself enough space for it, um, there's a lot that you can still get out of 2020. Um, and obviously, if you're looking for a coach for whenever gyms do open, I am taking on clients, but there will come a point where that might stop uh, because I am getting inquiries um, and there's only so many people I can take on kind of ahead of gyms opening. Um, so if you're thinking about coaching, now is the time to get in touch. Now's the time to arrange a call uh, completely free of charge. You just get to know me. I get to know you. We can talk about your goals, how I can help you achieve those. Um, and setting them in the context to make sure that 2020 is the best year that, or the year that we had all anticipated it to be. Um, so I'll wrap it up here. Um, I'll leave my Instagram handle somewhere on the screen, but you can also probably find it in the description box. So make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you can also check out our website, as I said, for articles, uh, but also you can download a free program from there if you want something um, to guide you through sort of what 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 you could potentially do once you do jump into back back into gym workouts um but yeah i'll catch up with everybody next week have a lovely rest of your weekend if this hopefully goes out today on sunday uh, and a lovely week ahead too